Hi, do you want to be a UGC creator someday? Cool, but there's one catch. It's not free. Here are the requirements. You need at least three to four years of modeling experience. You must submit an application to join the Roblox UGC program. Your account must be at least 13 years old. You have to be verified and in good standing, with no violations. The tricky part is that you'll also need premium 1000 or 2200 and uploading an item to the marketplace costs exactly 750 Robux. If you meet all the requirements, cool. Now let's get our rig. First, open Roblox Studio and create a new template. Next, go to Avatar, click on Rig Builder, and generate your rig. I recommend using the blocky avatar, but you can choose whichever fits your style. Set the origin position to 0, 0, 0 in the Properties panel. If you don't see properties on the right, don't worry. Just go to the View tab and enable properties. Now right-click on your rig in the Explorer. Go to Save H Export, Export Selection, and save your rig as an .obj file. Once it's saved, open up Blender. Go to File, Import, Wavefront. Select your saved rig and import it. Now you can start working on your UGC accessory. You see, I already made a mask a long time ago, but the problem is that it had way too many vertices for Roblox to handle. Don't make the same mistake as me. So, let's make a low poly base mask. Press Shift plus A and add a plane. This will be our base. Rotate it 90 degrees by pressing R, X, 90 and move it in front of the face rig with G. Go into edit mode by pressing tab. Add a loop cut with control plus R, then select these two vertices and delete them. Now, add a mirror modifier. Toggle X-ray mode and start shaping the mask with G to fit the rig's face. Add more loop cuts by scrolling up. Enable proportional editing, press G and scroll to adjust how much of the mask gets affected. This way you can curve only certain parts. Once you're happy, Press Tab again to leave edit mode. Right-click the mask and choose Shade Auto Smooth to clean up the sharp edges. Then, in the modifiers, add Solidify to give the mask some thickness. Now let's make the strap. But you can skip this if you want a strapless mask. Create another plane and scale it down with S. Add a curve, choose Path, then right-click the plane and convert it to a curve. Select the curve, go to Data, use the dropper, and pick the plane. Now we have a strap. Go into Edit Mode to shape it however you want. Then convert it back into a mesh. For the face design, you can draw it in any software. Once saved, select your mask, go to Materials, click New, then on the yellow dot next to Base Color choose Image Texture. Click Open and import your face drawing. You'll be able to see the face in Viewport Shading. At first, the texture will look mirrored. Go into UV Editing. Press Tab, then press A to select everything. Now move the UV map to adjust the face until it fits the mask. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope it helped. Peace.